We're very fortunate. The people have offered, I've had multiple community members want to help us clear this site. <coughs> it's uh, At least it's on the ground, a lot of it. But we've got to, this van isn't worth anything now after the, it was probably wasn't worth anything before the tree fell on it, but it certainly isn't worth anything now. Maybe scrap metal, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, just a lot of detritus and debris, kind of a semi-abandoned site for the last five years or so. But uh, very exciting to the town of High Falls. It's been kind of an ugly mess here. Um, and to history, because we'll be able to interpret even more of the history of the Delaware and Hudson Canal. And, uh, no heat. A woman lived in this trailer for I don't know how long, but should we go take a look inside? Because it's going to be gone soon. Why not? Uh, let's... <coughs> uh, I wonder, anything worth saving in here? Probably not. Well, in for a penny, people. Now here's your pound. <coughs> The bedroom. Uh, I'll get better at this. My cold hands there. So the bedroom, just literally big enough for the bed. Can you imagine a cold upstate New York winter in this place? And yet, Elsie uh, Crawford lived in this for uh, many, many years. Oh, I see. Now we'll get the view from the other side. Well, is that electricity? Well, is that an ice box? I don't know. I don't think there's... Yeah, no electricity. Uh, probably no running water. And yet somebody did in the 20th century until the, until the 1990s. Actually, probably even... Might have even made it to 2000. Yeah, I think uh, somebody was living here until... Until then. But, uh... It's just, uh... It's just detritus now, and we'll just be getting it out of here and clearing it up so we can get back to that historic gem of a telegraph and collector's office.